Hi everybody, welcome to Crochet at the Lantern and this week we'll put a simple frill edging on our granny square. This can be used for other projects that you have managed to create in the past couple of weeks. Maybe you've finished a blanket and you'd like to try a new edging. This is very easy to follow along. And then also we will do a simple tutorial on how to crochet a very pretty rose. So get out your hooks, get out your wool and get crocheting and I hope you enjoy the tutorials this week. Hi hey everybody, we're going to get started with a simple frill edging on your um, project. So if this was going to be a blanket or if you wanted to put it on the edge of your um, granny square or anything like that. It's just a simple frill edge using treble crochet and to get started you will just join your wool. Okay, usually in the corner is a good place um, to start. So in the granny square you would start in your corner um, and you'd place your wool okay and then you'd crochet your tail as you're going along so you'd chain up three so just to add in your wool you literally would just draw it in you could put a slip stitch on it first on your hook um, and just draw it through if you wanted to that way but this is the way i like to do it so this is the tail and you'll hold that down you'll chain up three which is going to act as a treble two three so this would be treble i'm going to use um, for this simple frill and you could also use a double um, if you wanted to. So I'm just going to pull out the work there, the wool. Okay, and then you would just put into the corner two more trebles. So this is acting as one treble. So you're going to be working in sets of three treble in every space around, every stitch around, and then in your corner as well. So that's two. Okay, so I've started in the corner. You can start wherever you want. You could start in a stitch here if you wanted to. And now into the next stitch, we are going to put three treble. And you can see there, look, I'm just working over the tail as I'm going along and it just secures it. So another treble. It's all trebles, it's not going to change. You could do a double as well if you didn't like the height of the treble stitch. In again to the exact same space with your treble. Pull out some of the wool there. Okay, and off we go again. Exact same stitch. So this is very straightforward and it is really is very basic and simple. So into each and every stitch around you're going to do that. So just continue on putting three treble in every single stitch. And then when you get to the corner, you're just going to put three treble into the corner like we did at the start. Except for you, you don't have to chain up three like you did here. You'll just work along three treble in each one across and then you'll get to the next corner and three treble in here and then work along the whole way around till you come back. And we'll join it and then that'll be your frill edging. So it's a simple treble crochet frill edge for your work something new to learn this week okay so off you go and I'll see you in a bit so now we've come to the very end of our work and all you're going to do is chain not chain sorry you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of the very first chain of that three treble chain that you created to start and that closes your work and then as always we draw up our loop um, you will cut off your yarn like so and then to secure it you just literally pull it through here and then you will thread your needle um, with your yarn you'll thread your needle with your yarn as usual um, and then you will just secure the tail working along excuse me <coughs> working along through the previous stitches just to secure it and then you'll cut it off so this is our practice square as always make your practice square first before you start a big project um, and a couple of rows would usually do you to create your square so this is our solid block um, granny square that we did a couple of weeks ago and this is just a very simple edging to add to your stitch library okay um, or your pattern library whatever you want to call it 
um, and that's the effect. So again, you could use treble as we have done today or use a double crochet and you're literally just going into each stitch around um, and it's very effective and it works up pretty quick. So I hope you enjoyed that and keep tuned for another tutorial.